question number 38. If the black lines represent cutting lines and dotted pink lines are folding lines, which of the option correctly represents the opened up surfaces of the solid shown? This is the solid that we need. These are the opened up surfaces. Some of them are, some of them are not. We should find out which of them are correct. Said so that black lines are cutting lines, which means these are cut. Pink lines can be folded. So this can be folded here. The, this is separate from this, like that. Now, uh, some, the behind part of this is not seen, so we'll just draw it. So the bottom looks like this. This would be the view if we remove the front part. Something like that. Now, if you take a look at the options, this part, bring it back, bring it here. This is same in every option. So we don't have to worry about the bottom and the sides on the, the back. All we have to focus is on the top and these small cubes. So this part, just forget about it from every single option. Even this actually is the same everywhere. So even the top we don't need. So just these parts are what we should focus on. And for the options, we'll look at these branches. So option one. This is here. Over here. This two branches would go till here. These two are covered. Now since this goes here. So this top part is here. This would move here. So something like this. Then these two here. These are done. Now we'll look at these. This part is here. First three in the line in a branch. You see, this part is already overlapping and this is left empty even if we place this here. So, two empty parts remain and two overlaps. So, B, A is not correct. I will erase this and look at B. So, top part again. This goes here these two go here. So these are covered. Now from here, these three go up that, and then it branches off from here. This one go here. Next it goes here. These three in a move. One, two, three. Three more which goes one, two, three. So everything is covered. B is correct. Now see, there's nothing here and here, only this part. So we can start off from here. Three go up. One, two, three. One on the side. Then these three, and then one branch. One, two, three. And this one branch moves here. This one goes here. And now continuing this one, two, three. This three. One, two, three. It covers everything. So he is also correct. Now we look at option D. So this starts off like this. Yeah. So one, two, three. Then in the middle, you see. Like 
now these one two three branches of here and another one but overlaps here then another overlap here so two overlaps two empty spaces he doesn't cover everything so the answer is b what?